Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be presenting my presentation on exploring and colonizing my world. This is part one. Exploring and colonizing your world. I'm exploring the needs of a human and matching it with the factors of my chosen planet. After making sure that the planet is able to sustain human life, I would begin to design the shelter that would have all the human requirements needed so I can colonize the planet. Obviously, all planets are different and have different factors, meaning that the planet I would, that I would choose would need to be the best other than Earth. The planet I've decided to choose is Mars. I just decided to choose Mars because, first of all, it's the second closest planet to Earth, the other being Venus making it easy to reach. The other reason is that most of the human needs can possibly be sustained on the planet, such as food, and with the right technology, maybe water. The biggest thing that I can help is the team of NASA. With the research, NASA can go towards colonizing even more planets using research and making more advanced technology. What have I learned about my topic? I've learned all the things that are needed to know how to create a colonization and sustain human life on another planet, Mars. To learn if the planet is suitable to live on, you would need to look at all the components that make up Mars, such as climate and growth. Although I don't have a blueprint for exterior, I do have a blueprint for interior of my design. I have done a lot of research on how to make human needs like food and water. I did find that the soil of Mars is able to grow food and water can be found in the ground of Mars, even though it may look, not look like a very good water to drink. There should be a way to be, make it drinkable. What have I learned about my shop? Did you know? Did you know that you can jump three times higher than you can on Earth? On Mars, I think this is. <laughs> or is it serious? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did you know that the dust on Mars is red because of the oxide, iron oxide in the dust? And did you know that Mars also has an equator just like Earth? Part 2. Idea creation. My creation is going to be a Mars colonization. It will allow humans to live and explore the planet Mars, creating a community. The base that I have planned to create is very simple, including the dome shape that a lot of people seem to use. Although my plan slash blueprint is good, I may reduce the size of it because it doesn't need to be as big as it is. I am obviously including the human needs, such as the sleeping quarters, a kitchen slash dining, a bathroom, and a room to relax and have fun. These match the requirements of human needs. Other things that are going to be included are storage, farming and health, and also the helping human needs. Adding on to those uh, is the most important. Airlock. Include materials. I've decided to use certain materials to help protect the base or give it a proper functioning. The main materials that I'm going to be used, which is the padding, which would be represented as cardboard, because it's one of the main items to create an exterior, as well as the metal represented using by aluminium foil. The padding, the padding and metal seem to be common in creating the exterior, and a lot of the interior walls, the metal is set in a net pattern, filled with tightly closed padding. The cardboard is not going to be made make the padding of the walls with the aluminium foil to create the metal, making the structure that is in my mind. The foil will be wrapped and placed on the cardboard in the net pattern, firmly glued to form. What worked well with my model? Was it difficult and what did you address? Something that worked well was the way the silo slash solar panels worked out. Yeah. Although I did have a lot of struggles with the model, as I am not very good at making models, but I did try my best. The best thing, the things I had the most struggles with were the rooms. I could have made more walls inside the rooms, walls inside the main rooms, splitting it up to certain rooms, if I had put a bit more effort in and maybe a little more time. Other than that, although the entryway was a bit too big, the rooms would make sense. 
and use my finder model. It looks quite plain, but I did make the airlock entryway a part a bit too big because I decided to make it a big model, but I shouldn't really have done it. <laughs> so over there is the training area basically and this is meant to like split up into a bunch of different rooms making you know dining areas, kitchens, sleeping quarters, all of that. Over there in the training area is also where all the gear would be. So like spacesuits and stuff. And that's it. Thanks for watching.